four to five times the size as it has been at my house in prior years. And we had a fairly large home pond too. Um, so that's saying something. Uh, we have, I think on an average night, around 25 actors or so, which, um, yeah, is probably triple to quadruple what we've had as a home haunt. We, uh, we try to get our guests involved whenever possible. There's only so much you can do through uh, a maze experience, but we try to leverage everything at our disposal to get people like playing with stuff. A lot of haunts, it's like, don't touch. But we, in a lot of cases, are like, please touch. <laughs> we were running with our original micro lab, like horrible lab gone wrong storyline. And uh, we're just taking it to the next level, right? So all of the haunts, if you've been into, uh, if you've been to them over prior years, are all kind of connected by this underlying story. If you've enjoyed Prism in the past, you'll enjoy this. This is like Prism cranked up to 11. Um, so we did like a lot of things that we've done in the past, but like next level. So some of the interactive elements, some of the special effects, um, some of the like high tech special effects and interactive like knife switches and whatnot. Year, he's turned quite a few of my lab assistants into monsters and we need your help to save them and turn them back. Are you up for the quest? Um, all of that stuff is stuff that we've like touched on in the past but this year like because we have a controlled environment, more space and more time to take guests through it, we're able to just do it more. So the build was crazy intense. We started in July. Um, you know to get it to the quality that we wanted it took time and it took effort and so uh, I think we got to that point and I'm really proud of it.